Dog Works Radio is sponsored by Alaska Dog Works. Check out their website at alaskadogworks.com. You can support this podcast on patreon.com forward slash first paw media. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by First Paw Coffee Company, specializing in private label premium blend coffee. If you're serious about coffee, you should check it out. First Paw Coffee's passion is high quality, small batch roasted coffee. They take the extra time to taste and get everything perfect before they release new blends. They aim to bring you a cup of happiness each time you pour yourself some coffee. Find out more at ak.dog slash free and enter for a chance to win some First Paw Coffee prizes, a book from our collection and tote bag. One winner will be selected at random each month. That's ak.dog slash free. Did you know that dog training is not regulated and against a backdrop of misinformation and outdated ideas? It can be hard for dog guardians to know where to seek help. From First Paw Media, sponsored by Alaska Dog Works Professional Canine Training Center in Anchorage, Alaska. This is Dog Works Radio, committed to families and their dogs to build lifelong and fulfilling relationships. Visit our website at dogworksradio.com. Now, here are your hosts, Robert and Michelle Forto. Hello and welcome to Dog Works Radio. This is your host, Michelle Forto, and I am the lead trainer of Alaska Dog Works. Here, we help humans and their dogs have better relationships. On today's show, it's an important one. Just this week, the American Veterinary Society of Animal Behavior publishes its new highly anticipated position statement on humane dog training. Did you know that dog training is not regulated and against a backdrop of misinformation and outdated ideas? It can be hard for dog guardians to know where to seek help. As the science has changed over the years, so have our ideas about the best ways to train dogs. The statement was written by the veterinarians and doctoral level animal behaviorists in the society. It provides guidance on the best ways to train dogs, which are both humane and fun. The statement begins, evidence supports the use of reward-based methods for all canine training. AVSAB promotes interactions with animals based on compassion, respect, and scientific evidence. Based on these factors, reward-based learning offers the most advantages and least harm to the learner's welfare. The position statement is based on the scientific evidence on dog training and reviews the issues that have been found with aversive methods. Unfortunately, the use of aversive methods has both short-term effects on the animal, which can often be seen through the dog's body language, and long-term effects that persist after the training session has ended. Aversive dog training methods rely on positive punishment and negative reinforcement and include prong collars, electric shock collars, shake cans, shouting, alpha rolls, and leash jerks. Reward-based methods involve positively reinforcing behaviors you want with treats or play and removing the rewards for behaviors you don't like. Reward-based trainers may use a combination of capturing, luring, and shaping to teach the animal to do particular behaviors. They may also use a marker, such as a clicker or verbal marker, in training. Reward-based learning offers the most advantages and least harm to the learner's welfare. Reward-based training is highly effective, and some studies show it to be more effective than aversive methods. AVSAB explain that reward-based dog training methods are also better for the human-animal bond. Meanwhile, studies show that using aversive methods can cause stress in dogs. The statement is not just about teaching basic obedience, but also about using behavior modification to deal with behavioral issues. 
Here, too, they say there is no role for aversive training and behavior modification plans. And they also say there are no exceptions to this, even for dogs with aggressive behaviors. Most common dog training issues can be resolved with positive reinforcement and management, such as making changes to the environment. While these can also be part of the treatment for more complex behavioral issues, it may be necessary to add behavior modification, additional management, and environmental changes, and sometimes medication. The statement includes an FAQ that answers common questions, such as which training methods are considered reward-based and which are aversive. There is useful advice for veterinarians on how to choose dog trainers to refer to and the role of the vet in dealing with behavior issues in dogs. The statement concludes, based on current scientific evidence, the AVSAB recommends that only reward-based training methods are used for all dog training, including the treatment of behavior problems. Aversive training methods have a damaging effect on both animal welfare and the human-animal bond. There is no evidence that aversive methods are more effective than rewards-based methods in any context. AVSAB therefore advises that aversive methods should not be used in animal training or for the treatment of behavior disorders. There is also a reading list for those who want to learn more about dog training or the scientific evidence on dog training methods. It joins a set of position statements from AVSAB, which also cover positive vet visits and puppy socialization. The position statements are designed to be used by veterinarians and can be downloaded from the website or you can order color copies from them. The new position statement will no doubt be very influential. Thank you to the members of the American Veterinary Society of Animal Behavior for their thorough assessment of the literature and for these clear guidelines on dog training methods. What do you think of this position statement? Will it influence what dog trainer or dog training company you hire to train your dog? Alaska Dog Works and we here at Dog Works Radio support this position and it is our training method of choice. Please do your homework before you hire someone to help you train your dog. This episode of the podcast is sponsored by First Paw Coffee Company. Learn more at firstpaw.coffee. From First Paw Media, this is Dog Works Radio. We hope you enjoyed this podcast, and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art, and you'll see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe too. Your hosts are Robert and Michelle Forto. Our producer is Robert Forto and created for First Paw Media. Did you know that Alaska Dog Works trains service dogs for those in need throughout North America? Each and every service dog that is trained through the Lead Dog Service Dog Program and Michelle Forda Winner Team has an individual training plan. We train for autistic, mobility, psychiatric, and PTSD for our soldiers for service work. If you know of someone that may need a service dog, please take a moment and check out Alaska Dog Works on social media and at alaskadogworks.com.